Hi, my name is Kirill and you are watching my LEGO Technic channel. I plan to film a few videos about LEGO Electric Generations and today I'll tell you about old 9V system from 90s. It won't be a complete review of all pieces of the system, I just share my experience of using some components. Let's start with power sources. You can see battery box for 6 AA batteries. It's easy to open it. The battery box has output connector and two buttons to change polarity. I have these battery boxes in four different colors, like gray, yellow, white and black from 8868 set. Also we can find small battery boxes in this system for 9V battery. As you can see, this box has no current protection, so they can provide more current than power functions battery boxes, because all power function boxes have current protection. The small box has many outputs on the top and only one button, so we can't change polarity on these pads. These boxes are the smallest in LEGO. This box is even smaller than Buiz. It's height a bit smaller. The height of big battery box is the same as in LEGO accumulators or 3A batteries box. Also, we can use AC-DC converter from 9V trains. Now it's just a picture, but I hope I'll show it in the future videos. Let's connect something. The simplest way to connect the load to the battery box is just to connect it to the output connector. Also, we can use electric plates. It operates just the wires, so we can see two pads. It's just a two wires cable. These plates were used in many system sets. We can find these plates in different sizes and colors, and it's very handy part to combine power sources and many loads. Uh, for example, we can even summarize currents from different power sources. Also, we can use usual wires. Here you can see two wires cable. Two wires, one for plus and the second for minus. Now the system has very interesting pads, so we can use connectors in any direction. But we should be very careful. Now it's a short circuit. We can find many different cables, both very short, longer and very long cables. For example, I have one cable. I don't know. It is 3 meters long, good choice for very big models. Also, we can use polarity switch. It allows to change polarity on the load. You can see that the motor rotates in different directions. And now let's take a look to the loads. Two lights. Depending on polarity, they can flash in or just shining. Also, I have single light. It has pads on the top too, so we can connect two blocks and they will work together. In this system we can find sound modules. Sound depends on polarity 
and I have two blocks with different sounds. And of course the motors. These three motors are weaker than the medium motor from power function system. This motor is very fast, more than 3000 rotations per minute on 9 volts. Unwanted sound. Also I have the motor in transparent case. And one more motor. It's very quiet. But the most interesting motors to my mind are micro motor and buggy motor. Micro motor is extremely small and extremely weak. It has special pulley and also two types of mounting brackets. This motor was used in many sets, both system and technique for additional functions. It can be used even for pneumatic switches, but the switching process is very long. The Maggi motor is the most powerful motor in LEGO at this time. It has very specific shape, but there are many mounting holes in it. The connector is the weak point. To power the buggy motor, special RC units were introduced. It works with special remote controller and the frequency is 27 MHz. We have to connect antenna to work with it. The RC unit has three outputs. The main output, also it has built-in servo motor special for cars, for steering, and also some RC units, not all of them, have additional output, you can see it here, for additional function. One more very interesting part is fiber optic emitter. It has eight optical outputs, Here electric input and we can switch these outputs by axis. It looks really awesome in darkness. So it was very interesting system with many useful pieces like lights, sound modules, different motors. Micro motors and buggy motors have no analogs in power function system. Uh, all these components are available now, for example on Bricklink.com and it's very cool. On your screen you can see the table with part numbers. In the video description you can find reviews of two very cool sets with this all electric. Also, you can support my channel if this video was useful for you. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye!